Well, a lot of people believe that as a centre-right party, ACT, the ACT party would be a social conservative party. I mean, aren't people on the centre-right labelled as conservatives? Well, yeah, generally they are. But while ACT are fiscal conservatives, you know, they want less government, lower government spending, more accountability, which, you know, it's a good thing. They are definitely not social conservatives. And they confirm that at the weekend. Let's check it out. So ACT Deputy Leader Brooke Van Valden has announced that she's going to stand against National MP Simon O'Connor in the seat of Tamaki, which has always been a National Party stronghold. Think back to Rob Muldoon. Uh, Van Valden claims that the incumbent Simon O'Connor's conservative views on social issues such as abortion were not shared by those in the electorate. And leader David Seymour also made it clear that O'Connor's conservative views on these issues, including his anti-abortion and euthanasia stances, were factors in the decision. Now, ironically, National has been very generous and hospitable to act by giving them a free pass on the Epsom seat and not standing a National candidate, or at least not campaigning hard at all, which of course has enabled ACT to stay in government. This is the way ACT repay them. <laughs> With friends like this, who needs enemies? So here's uh, the news hub coverage, and Van Velden seems to be really struggling to make sure she says the right things about human rights and choice. Not a choice for the child, mind, but, you know, saying the right pro-abortion narrative. I want to make sure that this beautiful part of Auckland feels represented and gets the genuine representation that they deserve. Van Valden also claiming incumbent Simon O'Connor's conservative views on social issues such as abortion were not shared by those in the electorate. Well, people want someone who does believe that people should have choice, that women should have choice over their bodies. O'Connor was forced to apologise last year for a social media post celebrating the US Supreme court's overturning of the abortion law Roe v Wade. Yeah but then she gets a little confused uh, and in her Facebook promo she accidentally mentions kids, yes children in her promo uh, and seniors as well. Now, this is the party that championed assisted suicide. Unity is one of a kind and I believe it deserves only the very best the best for our local businesses and the best standards for our kids and our seniors as well and the best representation in Wellington. If this sounds like you... Yeah, oh, that's a little awkward, isn't it? Kids, except the unborn ones, that is, and seniors, except the ones that feel they have a duty to die or can't get treatment or are being coerced or have a wrong prognosis. Uh, here's the coverage from One News. Rob Muldoon won the seat in 1960 and the party's held it ever since. But current MP Simon O'Connor, a social conservative, Ooh. has caused a controversy. He agreed to remove an anti-abortion comment from social media at the request of his party leader. We have an excellent local candidate, a constituent MP in Simon O'Connor. He's been advocating for that electorate. He's been doing all the constituency work incredibly well over the many years. Look, Great. over the past few years, I've had a number of people in the Tamaki electorate, especially women, saying they do not feel represented by the local MP uh, because of his anti-abortion views. I am pro-choice, I'm pro-freedom, I want everybody in this electorate to feel like they can have choices over those fundamental human rights. I think that's very predictable, but I can say as an electorate MP who lives in the electorate, who's there just about every day, people talked about cost of living. A question here is why ACT wants another electorate seat? Its leader, David Seymour, already holds a commanding majority. Yeah, well, uh, a couple of issues there. Firstly, the party of choice and freedom. Well, the ACT Party voted en bloc for the conversion therapy law, despite the fact that they made a huge noise about criminalising good parents and the fact that the personal choice and will of the person who wants counselling is excluded from the bill. Uh, they were dead right to raise these concerns, concerns but they still voted for it anyway, thereby preventing anyone who experiences unwanted same-sex attraction or gender dysphoria from getting the counselling or support they may wish. The law has unfairly given the possibility of criminalising parents, prayer, carers and counsellors. But ACT didn't seem to care. 
Act is the party that voted as a bloc for the birth certificates law, which takes a birth certificate from being based on biological fact to being based on identity. So they're well and truly in the gender ideology space. The leader of ACT supports redefining marriage, including same-sex marriage, supported the recent passing of our extreme abortion law, and opposed all provisions which were proposed by MPs to lessen how extreme the law is, including fetal pain provisions, banning late-term abortion, born-alive provisions, conscientious objection for health practitioners, a ban on sex selection and disability discrimination such as Down syndrome, parental notification, opposed all of those. Of course, David Seymour championed assisted suicide, euthanasia, supports legalisation of cannabis, voted yes in the referendum, supports the decriminalisation of prostitution, opposes raising the drinking age to 20. The party is desperate to liberalise Easter trading laws as well. In fact, if you compare it, the voting record of David Seymour's is virtually identical to Jacinda Ardern's and Chris Hipkins on the social conservative issues, many of which are a conscience vote. See, here's a question. Why didn't ACT target an extreme left candidate? That's the true enemy to them, isn't it? Nope, because they're more concerned in opposing social conservatives. Apparently, those values are the problem. If you thought ACT was a social conservative party, think again. They're definitely fiscally conservative, but they're about as socially conservative as a left-wing party. If you're looking for a good performance in Parliament, we need a better act. (laughs) 